they can work to the computer. All right, so we have 16 so far. Uh, KM6NFO, Sean is connecting an audio, so I see little twiddly lines that he's getting here. Uh, playing around today, I made two slides, one for um, the chat program that uh, we would like to use, and I have some things to talk about that. And then uh, another one is the uh, N3F JP software, which I like to put an F in front of it. I don't know why. I've done that in a couple of times by sticking an F instead of an N. So I think that makes it French. But at any rate, um, uh, I have some slides on that as well. And uh, usually you would try a live demo, but I've been in IT long enough to know that those never work right. So I'm not going to chance it and say, oh, I can just show you what it looks like and say, nah, I know better. So I have pre-recorded slides to, to say we can talk about. Uh, first off, thanks everybody for coming. Uh, this is part two of field day preparation. And we're going to get more in maybe the technical side of um, setting up. Uh, if for the internet enabled part of us. And if you're uh, just going to be out in the field somewhere and you just have your N3F JP software and you've never installed it, um, uh, show you where you need to go and get it. Uh, you can download it and it's good for up to 30 QSOs before you have to register. So if you're going to only work really, not really hard, you can just kind of use it. But uh, for those of us that are contesters, uh, we want more than 30, go ahead and register it, and uh, you do that by visiting the website, and there's a little PayPal equivalent or where you can pay the $8.99, and, and then you'll get an email from Scott in, in about 24 hours saying, hey, here's your, you're going to use your call sign as your user ID, and then you're going to use your secret password, which is going to be some kind of number. And I'm thinking the code is, it's a sequence number, so it'll probably be one more than the last one that uh, he sold. So going around the room, and I've got an order here. So um, Gert, um, how are you going to be operating field day this year and where and how many? Okay, we are kind of up in the air, but I wanted to kind of get on top of it so that we could. Uh, if we do, it would be uh, just uh, running on battery power from home because even even when we're in the shack, we're running off of power, uh, battery power, because we have solars on the roof and that sort of thing. So it's kind of just an up in the air thing right now. So you're so probably going to be the Echo then? Huh? You're probably going to be Echo, class Echo? I guess yeah. that's what it would be. Okay. You okay. know, unless we decide to get adventurous, although it depends on the weather, but we also have a mobile shack. Uh, set up for our our travel trailer but uh and that would make it mobile but uh you know again it'd be running off of solar so either way it turns out to be kind of just a if it was uh, mobile in a vehicle you could be class c c and i was saying that's really rare i've not worked anybody class c <laughs> class c huh <laughs> one c or probably one c one vehicle yeah Next, I see Mike, uh, K7 Golf Fox Mike. Um, how are you going to be running for field day this year? Um, not sure. Um, this is going to be my first field day ever, so I'm um, a, a newbie. <laughs> and uh, I've been thinking whether I would try to get a, a, a mobile setup in the car, maybe drive up to the mountains and see what I could do. Um, um, thinking, I'm not sure whether the Tesla battery would provide enough power to allow me some extra points because there's no charging option in the car. <laughs> um, but I don't have any firm plans yet. So that's I know I last year that there was a uh, club that did uh, Blue Canyon up by the their airport and they were cleaning up. So if you want to go up to an airport, Blue Canyon, it overlooks the entire valley and uh, you can work line of sight most everywhere in Northern California, I, I believe. Ooh, good to know, thanks, yeah. Or you can go place someplace nice and, and have, a, have a vacation. Good idea. <clears throat> All right, uh, Robert Drabacher. Yep, Sorry. Kasich GCN. You guys can hear me okay? I hear you yeah. fine. Okay. Um, 
nice group we got here. This is great. Uh, I plan to operate one Echo uh, QRP. Oh, so Excellent. we can get bonus points. Yep. So uh, I'll be operating uh, with a battery if it arrives on time, uh, and um, you know, put in as many hours as I can. I'll probably CW and phone both all bands from two meters through 80. Okay. And um, yeah, looking forward to it. Should be fun. Are you getting a bio -inno? Yes. Okay. Yeah, that's what I have. I got a 20 amp hour or whatever version and that was good enough as long as you can charge it with something. I have a solar panel as well. Okay. Yeah. Th thank you. By the way, you recommended that to me. And uh, that's, so that's what I ended up buying. Uh, the, um, I, I forget what size I get. I think it's, um, Fit the 15 amp hour, which I'm hoping will run my uh, ICOM 703, the QRP rig, uh, pretty much the entire time. Yeah, so, I don't see uh, that. Yeah. All right, I see a Bob. It's probably PGQ. Uh, how are you going to work? Good evening. Uh, I'm going to work also uh, one Echo and then uh, use solar cells and be completely off the grid. So I'll get bonus points for that. And uh, I guess we're going to discuss uh, our uh, chatting later on in the, in the session, correct? Yeah, I'm going to start off with that software first. And I thought that's probably the most useful. Uh, and uh, you, choosing a logger software, we're going to just talk about our, our field day that we normally use for field day. Okay. So. All righty. Chat later. Uh, one thing I forgot to ask, everybody's done a field day except uh, raise your hand. I know one that hasn't. Ooh, there's something to do. All right. I don't see everybody, so we'll just keep... A field day what? Uh, there's more than one that hasn't done a field day before, so there you go. Oh. Hopefully we so can... help. Is that hasn't done or done? Has not done one. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Oh. All right, we have James Chin uh, uh, somewhere in this box here. Uh, how are you going to be doing field day today? Uh, I this... probably won't be participating, but I'm here listening, learning. Well, I know you've been in with the uh, N6NA field days before. We, you've got a radio, right? Uh, no, I usually uh, usually use uh, other people's radio. Hey, well, do we do we want to loan our club radio if you want to set up something? Uh, no, for now I'll just just pass. Ah, uh, how about uh, not only is it HF, you can also do uh, a handy talkie, so you can actually get. Uh, um, contacts on two meters and 440 if you like as well oh okay so it all counts all points all right. so if we hf people we say oh yeah cool but uh just participating is good uh next on my list is carol kp4md carol hi uh um, how are you, are you hearing me okay yes yeah oh great well, well uh i'm planning to uh, operate from home and uh, I do have three uh, of the uh, 17 amp hour lead acid cell batteries uh, in the jump starts. And I think I'm going to go ahead and maybe try operating QRP CW. Uh, that's, uh, and I'll be from home here. I like to be nice and comfortable. I do have a question. Those of us who have uh, done field days with the club before brought our computers, uh, Kevin had uh, set them up with the club registration. So the, the software is usable on those. Uh, I don't think we would need to register them again since we're using them for the club. Uh, is that the case? Isn't that the registration code we have on the club license though? I think it's tied to the N6NA call sign. Uh, yeah, but you can't put in another call sign in there. No, it won't let you. As long as it's for the club. I don't think it lets you. When you try and put in a different call sign, it says the registration doesn't match. I see. Okay. Well, in that case, not. Okay. Well, it's eight ninety nine. We'll get into that. It's not. If you don't have a logging software already, hey, why not get one? And sure. uh, they make they make it quite a sweet. So far, we got a lot of echoes in there. So let's uh, keep on echoing along here. Uh, Neo uh, KL seven HQR. Um, how are you going to do this field day this year? Well, the plan is to do it here at home. I do not have uh, uh, battery power, so probably I'll have to use the regular station. I would appreciate if you later can send me a, an email with the information on battery that you provided the uh, GFM bomb. Uh, I want to look at it for the future. But for this time, probably it's the uh, one delta, I believe, right? 
Okay, one Delta. What I had is there is, I have one for winter field day in the archive and it talks about my first try at getting a battery. I didn't have a solar panel. And uh, look at that presentation. It shows the, the, uh, the setup that I had. I think it was in 2017. Yeah, eventually, I would like to get uh, the battery and the solar panel, but obviously not enough for the, for this year. I did that in two steps. I did uh, battery first and then solar panel, because uh, the solar panel is well pricey. Yeah. By the way, I got an invitation to operate and provide the points to uh, the Johnson Space Center clubs with a new roof. I figured that's a little abusing the rules a little bit. So River City, it is. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and uh, the user list as they talk it keeps bouncing around so I may have next I guess I have Dave Whiskey Bravo 6 Yankee Lima Kilo um, how are you going to be doing it this year Ed? go ahead sir well I'm not sure yet right at the moment um, I might work from here at home and I'd be a one echo I've got uh, solar panels and batteries that We'll run the station for the weekend. Um, but Ken and I have talked a little bit, and I say a little bit, about getting together somewhere and uh, working together somewhere, but we haven't really had a chance to talk it over or figure out where we're going to go yet. So it's kind of up in the air. Well, you might be our center. It's actually out in the field. <laughs> or a mobile one in a, a, out in a picnic bench somewhere, perhaps. Well, it, I don't think it'll be mobile, but it'd be mm. out in the field somewhere. Okay. And uh, we, we had problems last year with the bathroom, so we'll hopefully uh, you'll have a campground that has uh, facilities. <laughs> the VFW Hall was, that was it. That was that was uh, much talked about. Uh, next on the list that I have is um, Henry. Um, you're muted. Uh, how, how are you going to be operating field day and what's your thoughts? I think that that's my, I wonder if it's my Henry, uh, in which case Hank is also Henry. And right. I think he was just listening. All right. Uh, then I go in the list. I'm going to have to hit more. And I can check on that and verify that you're not skipping someone. All right. Uh, next, I have JN6SAC. Right? It's an easy call sign to remember. Uh, how are you going to do this year? Yeah, well, uh, still making what my plans are for the weekend. Um, I got married before I became a ham, and it's my anniversary weekend every year. Uh, so if ARRL would change the weekend for this, it would make it better <laughs> for me. But uh, uh, So don't know what... All the plans are. Um, I also have the week after the weekend off, and so we might have other plans. Uh, so if I'm around, then I'll operate one Delta. I haven't quite got all the uh, the battery foo going on yet, but um, I do have the the shack and uh, work well on just on everything, even up to 80 meters. So uh, happy to to work one Delta there. And then from what I understand, the logging we're still basically operating as individuals, right? Uh, we're one deltas, we don't even have to, or I will be, uh, we don't even have to worry about duplications in the logs. No. When we submit the log, we designate on there which club uh, we want our score aggregated to. And from what I understand, we have to be very careful about making sure we use the right string, uh, letter for letter, identifying the club so that all of our points get added together. So. Whatever operating I do do over that weekend, uh, happy to contribute that to uh, N6NA River City Arcs. It's uh, good to know too. Also, um, if any, none of us have done logging as uh, all individuals uh, for field day, I'm not. Uh, Kevin is our expert. So um, I was thinking that if we run into trouble, we have only a few days to do it too. So if you run into trouble, I was thinking contact at N6NA.org, say I'm, I, not getting anywhere help and, and we'll then know that you're having trouble. Right, well, you're right. Normal field day operation, if you're gonna operate as a club, it's good to run the, the same logging software, right? And then you have some kind of network, whether it's plugged or Wi-Fi or whatever, uh, that's localized so that you can share uh, that logging. Uh, but because of the way uh, some of the 
the waivers are occurring this year of not having to be in the same location, but still operate as a club. Uh, you are essentially logging as individuals. You are participating as individual stations. Uh, that's why I can be one Delta and others can be one Echo. Uh, and you're submitting your logs individually, but in that submission, you identify uh, what club you want your individual log to contribute towards. That's and I think that's confirmed with the FAQs that I was reading. And thank you, Carol, for sending out the link. Uh, I happened to discover that earlier. And uh, so it, you, we have the choice of running your favorite logging software, as long as it does a decent job with uh, contesting. And then uh, you're, we're going to use the field day web app to do the submitting. And in there, it'll ask you, right, who are you? And then if you're participating as a club, how do you identify the club? And so we're going to have to be careful to make sure we use the exact same string when we're identifying the club so that all of those logs submitted for River City Arcs get aggregated together. Right. And uh, there are two links. There's one for submitting and there's one to say, did it work? So right. that's all in uh, the N6NA field day uh, section. There's a tab at the top. Ooh, I might have to do a live demo on that. I don't really want to. Uh, Everybody visit our site. There is a field day tab. Click it. There's a, there, the information on there is growing. I, we, we, Carol is going to be adding uh, the uh, frequently asked questions in there. I, I think what I put together is, is correct, but they are more specific about duplications. And, and uh, my thoughts is this contest logging, if we're internet enabled, will allow us real time to see what everybody's doing. Okay. Uh, that, that's true, and the, but that's if everybody's running the same and we're all publishing towards each other. But that's uh, which is it's a convenience. It's just not a requirement. No, it isn't. It's not actually going to be aggregate, so we can submit it as a group. It's only how we're doing between us. It's right. not official, uh, but it, it, we have a little private room that says, "Hey, Bob's killing it," or Kevin is cleaning up on. Uh, digital or however we're gonna operate. Uh, next uh, on my list, Marty is in there. K, Killer Mike 6, Mike Fox India. Uh, hopefully it's uh, gonna go for good. Uh, go ahead, Marty, and how are you gonna work? I will be one echo. Plan A is to do digital, although I've never done digital before. So I guess I'll find out this weekend when I get my cable. Backup plan is, is high frequency. And then if all else fails, I'm going to go to two meters someplace. All right. You should probably work with Kevin. Actually, you did work with Kevin last year. So uh, his setup was FT8. Are you going to be running FT8? At this point, beggars can't be choosers. Whatever I get to work with. Sure. Okay. Uh, and before I have to hit more, I've got uh, Kevin kk 6 Kevin, how are you going to be doing it this year? Uh, depending on the weather, if it's not too hot, I might go and sit out in the backyard. But if it's hot, then I'll just be inside, and I'll be one delta either way. So, yeah, see how see how the weather looks on the weekend. Okay, uh, for us, Sylvia and I, we're going to be two echo. She's got an Elocraft KX3 that's QRP. She's going to be using last year's ten meter field day antenna, which is the hex beam. And she's going to try and make a 40 meter um, um, uh, dipole out of the parts that we had uh, last year in, in, um, uh, on a how to how to build an antenna. So we've got plenty of big old honking speaker wire and a ballum, and she's going to throw it in the tree and, and set up for um, field day uh, in our backyard with at least with the antenna draped over trees, fence line maybe. Draped over trees, fence line. And then the next beam will be the backup. For us, since we're going to be two echo, we have to mind uh, interfering with each other. So uh, uh, ordering from ordering from bring some filters, and because of that, we're we're picking on particular ones. We're going to do 40, 20, and 10, and beyond that, we might be one echo if we want to do 80, because uh, we're just going to clobber each other if we try and do it together. I thought. Uh, okay, uh, also on the list is, did I get you Paul and 6 DRY? Uh, go ahead and see how you're going to be doing field day this year. You're muted though. Okay, you're unmuted. I probably won't do anything but listen. Okay. 
my situation is such that I can't get out. So uh, I, I'll just be listening. You gonna join us for pizza? <laughs> I would love to, but uh, we're in sort of a lockdown here. So. Yeah, my sister is as well. She's in a retirement home and uh, they have assistants that go out to buy stuff they need. And otherwise they are locked in too. They're, they eat in their room. They used to eat, eat as a community. Yeah, that's what they're doing here. And it's starting to... All right. You, know, you, you want yes, some... <laughs> Uh, another one I had bouncing around, I'm not sure if he's really here yet, is KM6NFO. Sean, are you with us yet? Maybe I need to add you in. Did I miss somebody? All right. I left you in limbo, maybe. Let me see how he is. You're in here that he's connecting to audio. Okay. But that means he's actually just getting on now. And let's see, do I need to add anybody? All right, well, let's let's move on. I don't think he's here yet. I think I know. Oh, I see. I need to. Um, uh, all right. Oh, all right, the mute. This. Yeah. By the way, folks, are you also hearing that echo of yourself? Yeah. Yeah, an uh, easy way to solve that is when you're not talking, go on mute. Uh, so if somebody has got their speakers up loud, we'll get this uh, digital delay echo going. All right, well, I, every, I think I've gone through everybody. If I missed you, go now. <laughs> um, I think you can mute everyone as well on the participants list. I think there's a button there somewhere that says mute everyone. Then you can just unmute yourself. Stand back, I'll probably mute myself. I'm pushing the button. You all. Oh. Did I stay and you're gone? All right, sorry about that. Now it's too quiet. Nope, that, that, that worked good. All right. That's that. All right. So um, I'm KM6NFO. I'm sorry, Sean, I'm leaving you hanging. Uh, I should see that I want to add you, but I do not see you. So sorry. Okay. Kevin, you have a solution for that? I, I invited everybody, but my screen is now at the max and I can't see him. Uh, is he still in the, the lobby, the waiting room? The limbo, yeah. I see him in the gallery. All right, so I do not have the button right. to, to add him though. So I'm, what am I missing here? Yeah, he, he is in the gallery right now. The Did gallery view, you'll see a cam six NFO. <laughs> right, so he's here. He just hasn't finished connecting. So whatever that means on his side. Well, I think what happens is that I am supposed to add the participant, and I'm not seeing that I am. Um, I'm in the waiting room. Let me see. He's he's in already. I think. Yeah. It may be that before you come into the meeting, there's that box where it says enable audio via computer or something. And I think if he hasn't pressed that button, then he's kind of stuck there. So he's not used uh, chat before. So we'll. We'll move on then. And you can probably hear us and see us, but you can't talk, I think. The cool part is we're recording this, so uh, <laughs> there's another way, uh, if, if, if that's working correctly, and I think it is. All right, let's share some stuff. First off, I'm not ready to share some stuff. On a laptop, I do not have a lot of real estate, so I need to open things before I get started. So give me a minute. Uh, ignore the guy behind the curtain. Documents. Let's talk Discord first. So let me open that. And it's doing its thing and it's full screen. So let's freeze that. All right. Now I can share probably theoretically. Uh, here we go. And share it. Boom. Everybody seeing a, a start of a PowerPoint? Yes. Yep. Yeah. So let's yep. big, I see it. Big screen it. Yep. Now it's easier to see. So field day breakout 2020 edition, COVID, whatever. Um, that's me, my email. Uh, I would like everybody, if you had problems, to go to contact at N6NA, however, uh, so we have more experts in the whole the whole board sees that among other 
any people that Carol can share with. So that is the uh, party line of getting your problems solved. If you get me and go to whiskey six bravos here at noping.net, I don't actually look at that very often, but I will make a point of looking at it maybe once a day. It's not my normal um, email. The reason I bring that up is because this chat program, if you're not in uh, Discord uh, logged in, having the app running, it throws email that uh, people have chatted in the group. And Carol and, and Kevin and I have all noticed that. So if there's ways of preventing this uh, information that you don't want to see until field day uh, by either um, sending it to an email account that you really don't care about, and then you won't mess with all your cool emails that are from people that you, you, you know and trust. Uh, and for the uh, more expert uh, IT people who get 10,000 emails from computers all over the world, um, your mail programs can also do grouping. And uh, for Mac users, I used to use a smart, a smart uh, mailbox. Anything that's uh, coming from N6, NA, uh, this chat program I can put into the folder and, and then it'll just be isolated from my regular mail. So that's just your heads up. It's uh, chatty if you're not connected. Uh, but you're not going to miss anything. It's going to come as email. So that's your heads up. Oops. There we go. Now I got the screen. And I got people in the way. Let's uh, move you guys out of, out of the way or down to one, maybe. All right. <laughs> I got one, one person. It isn't me. Discord can work on a web browser and an app. So um, I'm using it in an app on a computer. I'm a Mac user. It also, there's apps for uh, running on Macs and Windows. And for people that are gonna be out in the field, you can still participate with us because the apps also are available for Android phones and Apple iOS phones. I have not messed with those yet. Um, maybe somebody in the group has already done so. Uh, but if you do use Android and Apple apps uh, and you, you're getting into Discord, uh, let us know if you run into any trouble. I'm only going to be using on a Mac for my logging, logging uh, computer. So haven't seen what everybody else is going to run into. And I mentioned on a previous field day, field day un, that uh, we have a group account in uh, this discord.com website. Uh, we created an N6NA group and I've got a hot link on the bottom of this page, uh, discord.gg7 blah, 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 ending in J. Um, that is a, a link that you can click and get right into our group and avoid the public uh, humiliation of seeing all the other people that are using Discord that have nothing to do with our, our club. And uh, registration, I think even for um, phone users, you should probably register uh, on a computer. And then once that's done, you can set up your phones. Uh, there's some particular things that are different uh, with, um, using a web browser or using an Android or Apple, mainly is that uh, you cannot screen share. So I'm not sure if we're going to screen share at all, but uh, we can certainly send up pictures to everybody and brag. And maybe that's what it'll be used for. Uh, Kevin and I have text quite a bit, and that's our, my preferred way of communicating while I'm operating a radio. I can do, uh, I don't know, pat my head and rub my tummy and, and, uh, operate the radio and do my logging and, and then uh, texting maybe I can do because I'm a computer person. I kind of do that all the time anyway when I was working. But um, some, some of that is overwhelming. The differences for home users that we used to in field day work as a team. So we had a logger and a, and a radio operator. It's going to be a lot more complicated, but it's all at your pace. You can handle what you can handle. So um, good luck. If you've worked any uh, co contest previously, you know how that's gonna work. I have a foot switch for my uh, radio at home inside the house, but in the field day, I normally used a hand mic. So uh, my hands are free when I talk on the radio. If you, you have such a setup, you're set to go. Oops. Losing track here. Uh, where can I use it? Uh, Discord is available, Windows, Mac computers, and can be accessed by downloading, running the Discord app, in a browser at the official website, discord.com. 
The browser versions have some limitations that I was kind of mentioning, like not being able to detect a webcam or multiple audio devices. I don't know if you have multiple speakers, like uh, uh, Neil has multiple cameras. If you want a far off uh, speaker and then a close one, those are not gonna work with that. I don't know that we're gonna be that sophisticated. Maybe some people even have headsets. In addition to the browser version, you can uh, screen share. Uh, one thing that uh, you will find right away in the application, there's a little plus bar right where you type your messages and text. If you hit the plus, that is where you can upload an image or an application or whatever. So um, I'm thinking people are gonna be taking a screenshot of the US map and then uh, saving that to your desktop and then uploading it with that plus and saying, ha ha, I got 50 states first or whatever, however you're gonna be using it. So I don't know exactly how we'll use it, but I think it's a way of us participating as a team all over the place. I think that's probably our main hope for, uh, for sharing what we're doing. Uh, here is, um, these links are I've given to Carol and I think we're gonna try and get them up on the website. If you're an Apple iPhone user, there is a download link for downloading the app for your Apple. Uh, there is a how to use the thing on a phone or an iPad. Some people have iPads, we do. Uh, I don't think though, I think we're gonna stick with Mac computers. So Sylvia will get the laptop and I'll get my desktop. Uh, she will have the camera, I will have the, the image of the cat for me. So I'm texting and voice at most. And it says for using phones at the current time, you need to register using that URL, which is a uh, discordapp.com register uh, to get your login and then link it up with your phone. Uh, there is a corresponding uh, Google app for iOS, uh, which is down there at the bottom. And continued. Actually, that is probably a how-to on how to, uh, to do voice on, uh, on phones. And what else did I put on here? Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, well, if you do video. I've not messed with video. I don't know if, Kevin, have you ever messed with video on uh, this chat program? No, not yet. No, we could try it out tonight after we've done one the, on the Zoom. I think Sylvia was excited about that. So we'll see how that goes. Maybe we will do video if we see anybody that's logged online going forward. So uh, when you log on, with that link I gave you, uh, that's that ugly thing ending in J with a GG in there and all that other HTTP stuff. It takes you to this page and uh, it invites you to the N6NA group. Currently, when I took an image today, it was eight members and it says accept, accept invite, click that and accept and then you'll be added to the group. This is basically off of a, takes you to a website to do this. When you get in, it'll look something like this. This is an image I took earlier today, I think, or yesterday. So you'll see that uh, we have, I was the only online user on the far right top. And there's a search for, if you're looking just for Kevin, let's say. And then we have some offline users that have already registered. So we have Kevin and Carol Carol, maybe two different computers. Oh, Carol 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 Carol. So four different computers maybe, I don't know why, different colors. And then uh, Kilo, Sylvia, Six Whiskey, Tango, Foxworth, that was Sylvia trying it. And then me, on a different computer at the bottom that is also offline at the time. And so you get this um, general uh, uh, chat window right in the middle. So you can see Kevin and I were exchanging back and forth. I think this was actually from uh, the, in May, I think, the end of May on a weekend. And we're saying, hey, what, what can this do? Uh, now the chat, you see where it says message, uh, message at the bottom with a little plus sign circle and a happy face and a GIF and a, a little present. I'm not sure what that is. That's where you send text back and forth. The um, plus that I was talking about earlier, you push that and you can send an image, a GIF or whatever. If you want to send a smiley face, it's got those little, um, um, emojis, just like a regular chat program that you probably have used on um, uh, Facebook, for example. 
And then on the bottom left, <clears throat> you will probably see a microphone, a headphone, and a little gear box uh, for configuring uh, your sound and your, your, your um, microphone. And uh, so the gearbox probably will say, um, oh, actually, above that, in that same pane, I don't know if you, can I actually get a pointer? Let's see, I do not. You'll see on the left side, uh, a bunch, uh, the very top left, a little smiley face, little gamer thing. This, this software was made by gamers, so this is their main use for it. It's free. Then you see the N6, NA, and a plus, and a compass, and then something else that looks like pointing at a upside down box that's empty or something. And then there's this invite people. So scrolling down to that invite people and down to where it says voice channels, that's where we can enable voice channels. I think we can do up to 10 different voice communications, which is to me, I think, overly complicated for field day, but it's possible. So if anybody wants to try it. Uh, I tried doing it with Kevin, but I think he was, I was doing it, I was in a voice channel, but Kevin was not, so we didn't get anywhere with it. Uh, and over, I think that's overly sophisticated for field day. I'm okay with text. Oops, am I at the end? Let's see, get back in the window. Oh, all right, let me get back in, ignore that. Now am I moving? Ah, dang it. Am I at the last one? I may be at the last one, that's what's messing with me. I am. So that completes uh, discord.com. Uh, if once you're logged in, we'll see you on the right. I mentioned your email will be chatty. So try and use an email that you don't care about. Uh, or if you do care about it, try and get smart groups so that uh, if you're not online and somebody happens to type in text, um, you'll see it as a group. That's your heads up. And what else? Flip into the other slide I had. Do, 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 do. Oh, open. Let's try open. And do, 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 do. Ooh, that's not what I expected. Hmm. I may have to go to my Google Cl Cloud Drive. I don't see what I'm looking for here. I should have another PowerPoint that. Uh, oh, I see. I did it. I put it in here. All right. So here is the N3FJP field day stuff. Once it gets in here, Dunk. all right. So you're all now seeing field day logging software, right? Hopefully, good. And again, me, skipping me. So uh, where do you get it? Uh, you can go to http colon slash slash, what it says on the top there, n3fjp.com. Uh, I said say hello to Scott and Kimberly. That uh, Scott, I think that's his call sign. Uh, he's a ham. He uh, created this software and he thought, you know, other people might be interested in it. I think he, he mostly did it for their club. Uh, I don't recall where N3FJP is in, the, in his club, but it's in here. And if you read through all this stuff, this is the front page. This is where you download it. And where it says purchase, this is where you purchase it. So you, you pay your $8.99. You can download it without purchasing. Uh, it only works on Windows. Uh, for me, I'm a Mac user, so I had to make it extra complicated. I am running it in a virtual environment on my Mac, and, uh, and I discovered that my desktop, only four gigs of memory was not enough, so I ended up uh, Amazoning crazy and bought some more memory, and now I'm able to work on my desktop. So right now, it only works on this laptop and, until I had the memory, which I installed yesterday. I think I'm ready to go. So here is where you get it if you haven't already got it. After installing it, your screen, since I'm a virtual environment, I have nothing else installed other than Microsoft Edge, if you look on there. You get a little um, <clears throat> uh, link at the top, it's ARRL Field Day, when it's successfully installed. And it, it'll tell you success or failure, or it'll walk you through it. I didn't find anything unusual. Again, if you have any trouble installing it, contact at n6a.org and we can see what the problems are. This was on Windows 10. Uh, then I started it by clicking that link and it throws up a registration page. And there is Scott, N3FJP, his picture on there. This is version 6.3. Uh, you may have an older version. This version allows for uh, Delta to Delta communications, so get it. 
your, if you had a license previously, it'll still work. <clears throat> Just stick it in there and you register. So your registration, uh, you buy the thing, you'll get an email back from Scott saying, thanks for supporting me. And uh, you've registered it with your call sign and you'll get a password, which is I think a, a five digit number. And I can kind of figure out what the next one will be. Probably add one as a guess. So you would put in your, when you get that within 24 hours, go ahead and pop in your call sign and your, um, your uh, password, which is a number and then hit continue. And then when it finally comes up, you will have a blank common fields area. And this is where you enter your call sign at the top. The rest of the stuff, I think it geolocated me so it knew I was in North America, USA. Long I think the longitude and latitude are for USA, so probably right in the middle, probably Nebraska. CQ zone of three and IT zone of six. Uh, I'll check it. I think that's right. <clears throat> I decided that uh, Sylvia and I were going to be two echo. So we're going to be emergency uh, power battery on solar panels and two of us. So we had to buy additional uh, bandpass filters so that we could not interfere with each other at the same time. We are sec or a double RL section. Let me get drink water. <clears throat> you have to fill in Sugar Victor, Sacramento Valley. I think, uh, Carol, you know the rules that if, if you're part of Sacramento Valley, but you're in the mountains, you're still Sacramento Valley? Yes, yes. It's, uh, it's geographical. It has nothing to be with, do with being in a valley. Okay. It's just you're within the section boundaries. Which I think is like most of Northern California. So if you go too far out, you may change your section. But I think we're all going to be Sugar Victor. And then the optional things, uh, Sylvia and I are going to operate. So I, I think we're going to be putting in our different call signs. So I'm an operator at the moment. I'm Whiskey Six Bravo Sierra and Initials. Why not? I'm TWC. And then I was done. Uh, you can see there's a little checkbox if you don't ever want to do that again. Click that. You won't see that ever again. It'll be set. Other things that you need to set, I think by default, it assumes CW. So if you go into settings, um, which is a top bar up there, <clears throat> you can change it to uh, phone, pH. And uh, that's not on this particular menu, but <clears throat> just a heads up. And then you need to change, set your band for what you're working. But I think I have slides for that. So then after doing all that stuff, um, it brings this and that's what it looks like. You're ready to enter a call. I don't know if you, I haven't got a pointer. So this is ready to begin, blah, 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 and blue. A kind of a cayenne, if you will. And above that is a call, a class, and a section. So when you're making contacts, um, you're gonna get an exchange of the remote person. You're gonna put their call sign in, their class, and their section. And if you don't get it, ask again. It's not a big deal. And keep asking until you get it. They don't mind. It's part of radio communication that you repeat it at least two times, and if, or if, if necessary. Uh, there's a little box uh, beyond, to the right of ready and begin. And that is the cool part of, well, if you got D, a DX station that's not in the United States, uh, you put your, your information in as DX for a class, I believe. Kevin? <laughs> I didn't get any DX, so I've, I've not actually used that. I'm hoping we do better this year. And, uh, for the one area, call area, you know, you see those. Um, Go ahead. Uh, when you put the call in and it's not a U.S. call, it'll automatically start filling in DX in there. Way okay, cool. So you've, you've been more successful than I am for field day. Well, occasionally. <laughs> I think we had a couple, in, a couple of past field days, but not last year, I don't think. No, we're in the no sunspot era, so it's, it's different. <clears throat> so there's we worked Mexico, and so that's DX. Canada is DX. Mexico, only Mexico. All right, because Canada Canada's in the bottom right. Right. So uh, you can actually check and say you're in Canada, but you gave me some weird abbreviation that doesn't on my list. Is it GTA? So you kind of have some heads up of what's going on. And as you enter uh, stuff, recent contacts will fill out and uh, you'll get these statistics on the right. And 
as what you want to see is like you have 100 QSOs per in 20 minutes, you're killing it. Let us know in chat. If you're getting one QSO in 20 minutes, let us know you're not doing well. <laughs> Change bands. <laughs> but uh, uh, it's all, all there and all interesting for you. Next slide. Oh, this is where we start uh, sending it to the contest uh, website and uh, configuring it. So if you, uh, let's just say I have another slide that's better than this. Uh, this is for my own setup. I, I'll just, con basically you go into uh, a particular area settings and then web and, and I'll have a better slide coming along. Uh, <clears throat> and there is help on the contest website if you haven't already visited it. I'll get to that in a minute to fill in uh, a URL. And so uh, you see where it says scores uh, distributor for all scoreboards. Uh, there's a www, uh, w.b41h. Uh, net score or something or other.php. Uh, the cool part is that it used to be you'd have to put the other sites in there, other one and other two, uh, for all the sites that you wanted to send your shared logging information. Now they have a mega logger. And so this first one that you fill in, the mega logger that, it's, that I have there, which I'll, I'll go into details more, um, automatically sends to all the other places. So that's an improvement from when this documentation was set up uh, on the contest site when you look in their how-tos. Uh, filling out the contest upload parameters. Um, I'm gonna be, as a Whiskey 6 Bravos here, I'm a single operator. I have one transmitter. I'm gonna be running a low power. Uh, assisted or not assisted assisted means you're using a web spotting site I'm not going to be using it and section of sugar Victor uh, down below that is how many bands I'm going to run I'll leave it all I have no idea but I think we have three band filters so I'm thinking for me 40 20 and 10 and I'm going to be running sideband mostly but you can fill in the parts that you are going to be running CW or digital I think Kevin doesn't like digital with this program, he's gonna use another one. Maybe we can get into that. Uh, the category overlay, not appropriate. And we're gonna be River City Arcs. I've asked the contest uh, website to add River City Arcs as a contest club. We weren't, but we are now. So, um, and then you hit done and you've got that set up. Also, you see where it says enabled. First you test, and if it comes back with a score distributor website response equals okay forwarded, it tested, and then you can click enable. Too fast? All right, hopefully not. And uh, now this is how you get to that website that I just had. This is from the help website that's uh, on uh, the contest logging uh, website, much bigger than my slide. So you go into settings, web upload contest status, and then and then drag it down into other online score sites. And then you fill that stuff out that I just had on the other screen. They had uh, this on the help site. So they were, I guess, a VA, VA is maybe Canada. And uh, in that particular version um, for uh, N3FJP, they actually had to fill out the others. We don't need to do that anymore. Just fill that first one in it's an aggregator, it'll go everywhere. And the secret thing that I was talking, telling you about that you need to type, and I, you couldn't quite see it, it's on the bottom, http colon slash slash www.b41h.net, sorry. I don't know, maybe you can cut and paste that and make it easier from the notes. And uh, here's my registered uh, site doing just that. I don't know what, why I got a, a baby version of the same screen in a little teeny box. I'm not sure why that was. I think that was pro probably part of virtualization. So uh, that's my own copy doing the same thing. And next, you probably want to choose a band that you want to operate. Uh, didn't ask you what you were going to use. You, a lot of people said 80 up, 80 up to 10 maybe. I don't know or we were gonna run uh, two meters or six meters or what satellites capability apparently. Uh, I had a choice at 15 meters. I'm not gonna actually be running 15 meters. Maybe, Kevin, are you gonna be doing 15 digital? 
Uh, yeah, possibly. Uh, yeah, give it a go. Given that we're all individuals and we're not going to interfere with each other, it, it, choose whatever band is working. I know that 20 is going to be very busy. You might squeeze in. 40 meters is busy. You might squeeze in. 10 meters is pretty open. So if 10 meters is working, that's a nice, safe band. And, and you don't have to work that hard because it only works during the daytime. Tom? Yeah. Okay. Uh, if you look down in the bottom, there's two blue boxes. One is your band and one is the uh, type of uh, signal you're using, whether it's phone or CW or digital. Right. You can click in that box and right click and left click and go through the uh, different parameters without having to go to the pull down menu. All right, so the, the, that's a good thing to know. So if you want to change it, just click that little pH down there and change it. Uh, these are from help, basically the top. What I've done is I've just kind of, what does this do? Scroll down, oh, okay, bam, that's where you change it. So I haven't gone in full details on this yet. So next, um, when you first get into the web content status uploader and you do not hit other, you get this one. And you should go in here, by the way. So it says upload web page to the following sites, blah, blah, blah. Uh, the author created a, um, what do they call it? A GoDaddy.com FTP site that they downloaded their local logs. And so they use that. We're not going to use it. So uncheck upload web page uh, to the following sites. This is just particular to um, the author's uh, club and they use it. But what you do want to do is look at the bottom left corner and it says upload frequency, leave it three, which is every three minutes it'll try and upload a fresh list of what your contacts are. Uh, recent contacts to include, 10's a good number, I left it. About the only thing that wasn't enabled, include score statistics was enabled, include uh, current frequency if known was enabled. The only thing that wasn't enabled was enable automatic upload. And I don't see why you wouldn't want to do that. So um, have that checked. Again, all these notes are going to be um, uploaded on our website somewhere. We'll figure it out. So uh, if you uh, lose this and it's going to be in video, if you don't want to play the video, you can certainly just flip through the notes. And then uh, um, Again, this is a bigger version of doing just that. So setting up, um, uh, well, the site, I, I actually made a mistake there, scoreboardonline.com. That's not actually right. I think it's contest, well, ignore my setup to go to blah, blah, blah. Uh, this is to set up uh, in a bigger screen, uh, basically um, your, your contact information. Again, set that and you hit done. This is the bragging site. So as I was mentioning, as you fill in contacts, you're gonna get little colored uh, tiles inside the US map. We wanna see you all fill out 100%, including Canada. That would be awesome. We haven't been able to do it in even the last couple of years working as a team. So if you are able to do this, you must be using an app. I don't know how you do that. But if you are doing that, way cool. That's, that's all I've got for slides for that. N3FJP. Now going to the contest online score.com, which is correct. That is the actual website, not what I had on the previous slide. This is the front page when you browse there off uh, using your, your, uh, your standard web browser. It brings you to this page. If you haven't been on this site already, go ahead and register. Click that register right there. And that's kind of what it looks like. I do like the little pizza guy with the antennas. And when you get in, uh, I kind of popped right to the profile because uh, I wanted to, to get my information more correct. So when you log in, you're going to log in with your call sign. So that automatically fills that for you. And then you're going to set a password. If you hate your password, this is where you change it by going to profile. Tom. Uh, yes. Uh, Neil, my apologies. I, I have to leave the meeting. We are very good. I'll follow up on this. Thank you very much. All right. It's going to be on video. Okay, thank you. All right. Uh, click North America. Our club is a choice now. Look, pull down and look for River City Arcs. And we're going to be Team N6NA. And I already know that Carol found this, so she is already registered on this site. And I am as well. So I think that's on a farther slide. Uh, on the top 
left is a go with a saying coming CW ops mini slash CWT one. That is one of the contests that uh, is out there. If you do that pull down, you'll see every contest in the world and field day is one of them, but it's coming. <laughs> so day of uh, it'll be here and we'll actually see if all this stuff works. So not used it before. It'll be interesting. As an IT person, I'd like to know that it worked before I started. It'll be fun. And we can set up as a team a private room so that uh, nobody else will see our scores if we care. I don't care though. So I, I think we can do it out in the open. But you see over there in the user menu, manage your team, private, private room, manual scoreboard posting, or log out. I'm not gonna think we use a private room. If anybody, anybody wants to know our score, they can look. Now for the people that uh, are not internet enabled, and you wanna say like at the end of Saturday, give us an idea how you're doing. There's a manual uh, website entry on this website. You can throw in your low power, your single op bands you used, <clears throat> and uh, your QSO totals, um, what bands you were working, and your total for that band. It'll give us an idea how you're doing. And if you have a chat, you can talk to us and tell you how you're doing. But with, this is the only th thing I could find where we could share information and know how everybody's doing. On a field day, we use a shared drive for N6NA and we're all throwing our logs in the same place. We're gonna be all individual logs. So this is the only way we can have a view of what everybody's doing and feel like a team. So hopefully it works. What else we got here? Ah. Uh, so if you poke around here and click some buttons on the top of that bar, you'll eventually find team management. And so uh, I've already created a team. We are team N6NA. I put it in there where it says create team and hit enter. So done, we did it. I'd like you to, when you're setting up your account to add yourself to team N6NA, and it looks like Carol's in there and I'm in there. So uh, as we go along, we should have more team members. And we can use that to filter for just us, uh, all the other clubs. Because <clears throat> this is kind of what, this is using the Kentucky CUSA party of this weekend. And this is the results. Uh, as I said, this is, can be updated every three minutes real time. So as a group, I think if you look at the very bottom of the, it's kind of chopped, but uh, uh, Ventura County is listed there and there's an AG6 AG and a Whiskey 6 Kilo Mike Echo. Uh, they were a team, and I'm disappointed in Whiskey 6 Kilo Mike Echo. He had no logging. But what will be kind of like that. We'll be River City Arcs, and you'll have all our call signs out there and how we're doing live. This apparently will auto-refresh the website every five minutes. So if you care, leave it up. And here's another view of all the clubs that were in uh, the Kentucky CUSO party. Probably you can find out who won from this information if they were using this site. But this is the breakdown of high power CW or, or low power mixed or all the others. And uh, <clears throat> this is kind of the top of that page because I couldn't get it all in one. So the highest rated guy at that particular time uh, was K4WW and he was doing 93 QSOs per hour. So he was burning, burning the night oil. Throughout, actually, that's the, that's uh, toward the end of the contest. I'm not sure if he did, did better during the day or, or night, but uh, even at the end, he was the highest. So it would be an honor to see one of us in the highest rated for the, and, and not particularly for the Kentucky CUSA party, but for the field day. Here's a club view. Again, there's just a bazillion views of how to view uh, using this, this web website to see how people are doing. Again, uh, you can uh, say that the Swamp Fox Club uh, had three people and they had totals and then others as you go down. And that's all I've got for that. So let's go back to uh, any questions about these slides or I'll just uh, not, not share anymore. That's the fast view. All right, so we're back to us. Clear as mud or you think it'll work? I lost some people too. I can see that. <laughs> we went from 16 to 13. Sorry to put you asleep. Hey, Tom, I got a question. 
Yes, hey, Tom, you had a question. Yes. Hmm. Echoed. Whoops. Echoed. Whoops. <laughs> I can mute everybody. <laughs> I can mute everybody. All right, I probably have to do that. Hang a sec. All right, I probably have to do that. Hang a sec. <laughs> All right, you're mute. Unmute, Bob. All right, you're mute. Unmute, Bob. No, oh, that's maybe me now, huh? Am I supposed to unmute? Yes, please. Oh, okay. Who was asking the question? I'm sorry. This Bob. All right, that Bob, go ahead. No echoes now. Okay. Suppose um, you, uh, we're all working individually, but suppose we contact another and we log in on our individual logs. Does, does that contact still count as a club contact? Every contact can count as a club. It's, it's when you submit your logs at the end, uh, your aggregate club will be N6NA. Otherwise, it's your, your contacts. Uh, so, e so even if you're contacting another club member, oh, uh, you see what I mean? That, I don't know that that was in the FAQ. So that is an extended FAQ that I don't know the answer to. I think that would be cheating. Okay. Well, then would you delete it from your log if you did up? I mean, you probably wouldn't know. No, no, no. You never delete your logs. When the okay. contest person goes through them, they will see what happened and they may just dismiss it. Okay. Okay. Thank you. But you, you never delete your logs. Just log it. It can be, you know, a lot of people get duplicates and they think, oh, I need to delete it live. No, you don't. It, it know, the software knows and it'll take care of itself. And they can see that you're, you're part of the aggregate N6NA group and they'll say, oh, that's not allowed. Okay. We'll just get a negative, negative, whatever the Q sub points are. Got it. Thank you. It's a guess. Any other questions? I hope it works too. Mike, you have to unmute. I muted you. Mike, you have to unmute. I muted you. I guess I'm back. Um, I guess I, I'm back. Um, I, Everybody else mute, please. <laughs> Regarding the uh, Discord software, um, I signed up earlier today and logged in. In fact, uh, I think we may have spoken, Tom, briefly. Uh, then I put it on my iPhone while you were talking a few minutes ago, and I lost the invite link for um, N6NA. Where did we find that? On the original field notes, it's on there. And for today's field notes, we're going to get it up on the web. So if you look for field days from our general meeting, uh, there's some slides. It's part of the field day tab on our website. So if you go to the field day tab on the n6na.org website, you should see uh, my field day notes and you can just steal it from there. It's a hot link, you can just click it. Perfect, thanks. Where's Kevin, did we lose Kevin? Oh, there you are. Kevin, you have any thoughts? I was muted. What was the question? Do uh, you have any thoughts for field day? I went through the things I thought might be technical. Everybody try it and see how you do. And again, contacts at n6a.org if you run into trouble. Yeah, I think ahead of time, if everyone can try and get that Discord thing set up and get signed in on there. Uh, and then if anyone runs into any issues during the day, they can just ping us on there and Hopefully a number of people will be on. So if anyone's got any questions, they can ask on there. Right. I'm thinking priority wise, Discord is probably our best hope for field day working. Uh, setting up your, your logging software is important. If it, and then the triple crown winner thing is that it actually goes to the contest logging site. We would have a win, win, win. But I'm thinking we would win with just chat and we would win if you could log. You can always give a shout out on the repeater as well, because we'll probably all be listening to the club repeater as well at the same time. So we've got multiple ways to get in touch with people. Yeah, I think that for a field day, repeaters are cheating. So uh, if you're making contacts, you got to do it um, uh, simplex. I was thinking just for help. Like if you get stuck mm -hmm. and something's not working, then maybe if you can't get into the Discord thing, then just give us a shout out on the repeater and someone, someone pick it up and help you. No, I just that you brought a thought up that I was just expanding on my thought without the actual topic. Uh, I think the chat program, uh, if you get it working ahead of time, 
I think that'll save us even from the phone. You don't even have to call us. You just, you're just you gonna use a little of your data plan, however. So if, if you are near a Wi-Fi, link up to the Wi-Fi and you won't get charged for minutes, whatever. Anything else? I think we can close it then, if we're all good. Knock on wood, we're, it's gonna work. Okay, thank you, Tom. All right. You're all muted, so if you're gonna you're all muted, so if you're gonna thank you, Tom. Thanks, Tom. Good job. Thanks, Tom. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. I'm gonna end abruptly. I'm gonna end abruptly. I'm gonna end. Good night, everyone. All right. Good night, everyone. All right.